Hi, and welcome to week two, where it's all about metal, markers, and attachments. So, as you know, if you're following me on Instagram, I have been really busy working with tags. And so this is my inspiration for this week. Um, all I did was add some metallic ink, acrylic ink to it, and I'm just loving the deep colors in the tag. So here's my journal. As you know, last week I just worked on loose pages because I wasn't sure about using this as my journal, but I'm, I'm good with it now. <laughs> so um, there's, there's last week's page. And I had added vintage buttons there on the side, not realizing how that would impact the way the book lays. So I have a little trick here. I have this notebook and I'm just using some of the pages there to even out the pages. And I really can't feel the buttons now, so um, glad I had that around. And so I'm ready to start and I'm going to just collage some papers. And because, um, you know, at the time I wasn't sure what I was going to use, I am going to stick with purples and I have my shirt to match, which was totally unplanned. So I'm going to fast forward, pull some papers and glue them down. So now everything is dried and I've had a chance to sit with this and to tell you the truth, I like it as it is. I had planned on using gesso and paint and adding more layers, but the more I look at it, the more happy I am with it. So I wanted to share another um, example of just using collage papers as they are. I have um, this journal that I worked on last year. It was a class with Colleen Atara, and I did all these background pages and decided to leave them as as they were. I I did have the intention of going back at some point, but I never did. I guess all this to say that remember this is your journal you decide what's enough, <laughs> so to speak, and um, do what makes you happy. So here are the pages, and I'm still happy with the fact that I didn't cover them up. And that's what we're going to do this week as well. So I am going to go back and get that tag. And since that is my focal point, I'll do a few things to that and be back to show you how this layout turns out. And here it is. And I am happy with the decision that I left the backgrounds as they are. So I took the tag and considering the elements that we had to work with this week, I went ahead and added um, 
the attachment there it's one of those tiny um, there's a name for that type of uh, safety pin if you will up at the top but I hung a Tim Holtz little rhinestone doohickey there um, on the pin and uh, attached it to the ribbon at the top. I also lucked out on the bottom of the tag there you see there's a ribbon that is gold and like an aubergine color, aubergine, um, eggplant. And so I added that and then stitched the three ladies onto that and I'll be honest I messed up I meant to skew the image a little bit to the right but hey I'm it's done it's good leaving it alone so I just attached it to the left page and on the right added that sentiment there and um, sorry I can't read it right now I'm squinting as I'm doing this voiceover ah if you're lucky enough to be different, never change. So that's it for this week. Oh, the markers. Yes, I just used a fine tip marker and just drew my wonky lines around the pages. And here are some close-ups. And I hope you have fun with these elements. And please post, whether you have a video or still photos, on Instagram, whatever, tag us, and um, can't wait to see what you do this week. All right, everyone, take care. Bye.